Good morning, all you guys. Well, it's morning for me. I don't know about y'all, but um, I literally just woke up to make this video, and I'm going to show y'all how I get ready for the day. I'm going to be using my hair from Nadula Hair Company, and this is just a close-up of how the wig looks before I put it on because, girl, like, the lighting on this wig is horrible in the video, but I want you to get a better view of it. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead just to make it so it's a little bit faster and also I ran out of ghost bond so I'm gonna substitute it out with my gossipy spray I used to do this method all the time but um yeah I don't I don't like it some more but it's it's not horrible but I just prefer not to use it but I'm gonna use it in this video so I'm gonna be using my gossipy spray and I'm going to spray the edges of my hairline. I'm doing this in front of the fan as well, so it like speed up the process. So I'm gonna put it on the edge of my hairline and immediately place the wig on. And then in tapping motions, I'm gonna start pushing down the lace into that glue. And then also I'm gonna do another layer on top. So before the wig dries i'm going to go ahead and like brush it through and all that kind of stuff after you do this method you do need to like wipe off any excess film from or residue from the spray that's one of the reasons why i don't use this method as much but as you can see sometimes you gotta use what you got on hand and usually i start in the middle and then i do the outer corners and then <clears throat> excuse me as I'm doing that, I'm pressing it down with something pointy. I usually use like a rat tail comb, but in this case, I'm using my edge brush. So I'm doing that. As you can see, like you guys, like I haven't used this method in such a long time. But um, yeah, so don't roast me in the comments if you don't like the way I did it. But you know, but the wig is gorgeous. The wig is gorgeous. I might not be a boss at laying it down, but the wig is so freaking gorgeous. I think I'm going to already have a video up giving you the details of this wig if you are interested. So, yeah, because I highly recommend this wig because, like, it's so freaking pretty. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap the edges of the borderline of the of the wig. Oh, my gosh, I was so good. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and wrap the borderline of my wig. And now I'm going to get started on my face. This literally is the minimal make. If I'm going to wear makeup and I really don't feel like I want to wear it, but I'm going to do it anyway, this is how I'm going to do it. So, um, cause today, like I just, ugh, I just feel like, blah, I want to put something on my face, but I didn't want to do like a full beat. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and use some type of moisturizer and I'm using the avocado, um, face moisturizer from, ColourPop and then I'm also using my eye serum from Makeup Easy because I obviously didn't get any sleep the night before and I'm going to pat that underneath my eyes just to kind of help with the puffiness throughout the day. Now I'm using this new foundation from ColourPop. It's the Pretty Face Foundation and I'm going to rub it in just like lotion because like I'm basically using it kind of like a BB cream. Mind you this foundation is buildable. So I'm putting that on. Mind you, my hands are very much washed. My face is clean. So just make sure you're being sanitary if you are using your hands applying your makeup, especially in these times. You want to make sure that you are completely sanitized. So I'm just doing that, spraying all over my face, patting it, and then you're not seeing it, but I'm letting the foundation dry. So it'll help with the setting of it. So I'm also using makeup wipes to clean my hands as I go because it's very messy when you use your fingertips. So as it's drying, I'm going to go ahead and spray a little rose water, lavender water, some Mario Biscoon on my face. And I'm going to let that sit and dry. And this is what I should have did at the beginning of the video was add some eye drops because I don't know if y'all saw it, but I was really like sleepy. It was hard for me to get my day started. So anyway... I'm going to move on and tap on some concealer from NYX, the Born to Glow. Mind you, all the stuff that I'm using will be listed down below. I'm just using a little blush brush, like a, like a 
medium sized blush brush to blend that in because it's faster and I didn't want to keep using my fingers. Now I'm going to use my sock up powder and I'm going to pat it all over my face. Not just in the highlighted parts because this is just like a look that I wanted to just be like a polished like skin look. Like I don't want it to look like I actually have on makeup. I just want it to look like my skin is just a little better than it actually is. So I'm not doing my eyebrows because I don't want to look like I beat my face. So anyway, I'm going to use some lip gloss and put that on my lips. This is just some LA color lip gloss that I got from Dollar General. Very, very cost efficient, but it's an amazing lip gloss like you guys. Like seriously, you can go toe to toe with any lip gloss, period. So I'm just going to put a little bit of lip liner because I feel like the foundation and the lip gloss kind of mushed my lips, like the shape of my lips together. Um, so I want to redefine my lips just a little bit. So I'm just putting a little bit of lip liner, brown lip liner from NIX, the color brown. And then I'm going to put some mascara on. I actually could have just stopped there because, you know, for the look I'm going for. But you guys, literally, like, I have no lashes. I have none so you guys honestly can probably stop there but I'm gonna go ahead and add some lashes so <laughs> because like I feel like I look like Kermit the Frog um you know even though like you know my friends and like my husband tell me like you don't need lashes I'm like okay thank you for the boost of confidence for the you know compliment but Bro, I myself, I like lashes on. <laughs> so I just slapped them on. That's very optional. I'm going to add just a little bit of blush too. This is another step that can be avoided. But this is just something that I just like to throw up in there just to add a little bit of sun kissedness. I'm making up words now. I just be adding on makeup. Like, I say I'm not going to do a full beat, but like, if I don't step away, it's going to turn into one. So I just add on a little blush and then I just reeled it in and then that's it. Literally, this takes about five to 10 minutes, not even 10 to be honest. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed it. I know nobody asked, but I'm gonna give it to you anyway. A morning, get up and go. I wanna be cute, but not looking like I'm trying to be too cute look. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys and you have a good one. Stay blessed, bye.